Good afternoon, good afternoon. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Happy Tuesday, everybody. As usual, I'm delighted to greet you in the matchless and powerful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Thank God for the second day of another, well, another day, first of all, and of course, of another week. And let me just give some announcements quickly. First of all, um, I want to, I cannot encourage you enough to make sure that you vote. I believe for us in New York, early voting is Saturday. Please, please, sirs, ma'ams, young people that are 18 and eligible to vote, please vote. Um, please, if you have not registered, register to vote. This is a very consequential election um, that we have this year. And so I'm encouraging all of you to vote. I know that you've heard by now that we lost one of our dear members just so unexpectedly. We're praying for the family of Patricia Peterson. I was with the family on yesterday. It's just inexplicable. Um, we don't understand, but we know, and that's why we constantly say that every day is a day of thanksgiving. Every day that you're alive is a day to give God praise. Not sure exactly what happened. She had been transferred from the Methodist Hospital to Dittmas Rehab where she was to undergo rehabilitation because she was having some challenges walking. And I visited her in the hospital and that was on Thursday. The family is just absolutely I'm devastated. So I ask for your prayers for the family and for her son and for her friends and for the church family. We um, have to bow to the sovereign will of God and we have to be a comfort to our friends. The Bible says, blessed are they that mourn for they shall be comforted. And we know that God is able and we believe and our faith that God is too wise to make a mistake and too just to do anything wrong. We have Paul who reminds us who has known the mind of God and who has been his counselor to God's ways are past our finding out. So we continue to join the psalmist and look to the hills from whence cometh our help, knowing that our help comes from the Lord. So please pray for the family. As soon as I have more details, I will definitely um, share them with you. Also, on this Sunday, this Sunday is official boards day. We will celebrate our deacons, our deaconesses, and our trustees. We will also celebrate the Holy Communion. I hope that you will join us on this Sunday. Invite a friend to please come and to share with us as we celebrate um, our officers who give spiritual leadership to the church. And we're so grateful for each and every one of them. They are the silent partners with the pastor in the ministry of the work of the church. And so we want to celebrate them on this Sunday, on this Sunday, which will be Fisher Boys Day. There'll be a program and dinner with the program immediately following the morning worship experience. I know that you will be here. And then we thank God for this beautiful, beautiful weather that we are enjoying. It's almost like spring. And so we're grateful for that. So get outside and just breathe. Join in with David who declares, let everyone, let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Also, let me share with you that this will be my last Bible. I mean, my last noonday prayer for this week. This will be my last noonday prayer for this week. I'll be traveling um, on tomorrow to Albany to our state convention, to our state convention. And so I will not be available um, for noonday prayer, but please meet us every day at noon for prayer. Also, one of our younger members transitioned, um, Sarah Michelle. And that service is going to be here at the church on this Friday. I will be back to officiate that service. It will be on this Friday. The viewing will be from 5 to 7. The service will start promptly at 7. Let's make sure that we continue to pray for one another, knowing that the prayers of the righteous availeth much. If God places something in your mind or someone's in your heart, at that moment, pick up and call them. Let them know that you are thinking of them. Send them a card. The Bible says, Jesus says, 
a new commandment I give you, that ye love one another, that ye love one another. Let me go ahead now and greet some of you who have joined me. Um, thank you so much. Um, good afternoon. Tawana, you always the first one. Thank you so much. Angela, how are you? Sister Ruby Ramsey, how are you? Phyllis Laria, Deborah Dunham, and Hamid. Natalie Crawford, how are you? Thank you so much, Phyllis Laria, my good friend Patricia Franklin. Good to see each and every one of you. Also, please be aware that our Bible study, our Bible study will start the first Wednesday. The first Wednesday in November will be our Bible study. All right, we're, we're, we're studying in the book of Joshua, and we know that God made a way. He opened up the Jordan River just like he did the Red Sea so they could pass over into um, the promised land. Uh, we're going to conclude chapter for today and a part of chapter five. We know that God elevates. Here it is in verse four, in verse 14 of chapter four. That day the Lord exalted Joshua in the sight of all of Israel, and they stood in awe of him all the days of his life, just as they had stood in awe of Moses. God will elevate you. Whatever God has for you is for you. Then the Lord said to Joshua, command the priest carrying the Ark of the Covenant law to come up out of the Jordan. So Joshua commanded the priest to come up out of the Jordan. And the priest came up out of the river carrying the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord. No sooner had they set their feet on the dry ground than the waters of the Jordan returned to their place. And at flood stage, as before, because God kept God's word. Now they were able to cross over into um, the, the land that God had promised. And don't you know that if you do what God tells you and you hold on to God's word, that God will make a way out of no way. We preach from Joshua chapter one on Sunday where God commands Joshua to tell the people and for Joshua himself, to be strong in the Lord and to be courageous and to meditate on God's word day and night. And God would give them great success. That is the formula for success. He says, stand strong in the Lord and be courageous and keep God's commandments. Don't look to the left nor to the right, but hold on, don't be swayed and God will give you success. And because they were obedient to the word of God, God allowed them to go into the promised land. I want to suggest to you, my friends, that God's got a promised land for you. God's got blessings for you. God's got doors that he wants to open. God has desires and joy and peace that God wants to give and do for us. But God is waiting on us. The Bible says, in Chronicles, First Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, if my people who are called by my name will seek my face um, and pray and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and I will heal the land. Let's jump to um, chapter 5 of Joshua and then we will close. Chapter 5, verse 1, because when God blesses you, when God opens up a door for you, People have to stand in awe at what God has done. They have to know that it could not have been anybody but the Lord. Here it is in chapter 5 of Joshua, verse 1. Now, when all the Amorite kings west of the Jordan and all the Canaanite kings along the coast heard how the Lord had dried up the Jordan before the Israelites, until they had crossed over, their hearts melted in fear, and they no longer had the courage to face the Israelites. They wanted to fight, and they were in battle to keep them from getting into the land. But when they saw the miracles that God had done, when they realized that God was for this people, they shrank in fear. Tell me, who can stand before us? 
when we call on that great name. In the name of Jesus, we have the victory. And I want you to know, friends, that eyes have not seen and ears have not heard. Neither has it entered into the hearts of men and women what God has in store for those of us who love him. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear God, for another day, we give you thanks. Thank you for waking us up this morning, starting us on our way. Thank you for the doors that you've opened and for the ways that you've made. Now, God, I pray for the family of Sister Patricia Franklin, that you will comfort them as only you can. Give them wisdom, give them courage, and help even in this moment of that that they don't understand, help their faith to fail not. Because we know that you're able. And so, God, give them your peace and your love that passes all understanding in this hour. We pray, oh God, for the family of Sarah Michelle, as they will say goodbye, Sarah Michelle, they will say goodbye to their loved one on Friday. Oh God, comfort and keep this family as they have lost their daughter and their brother, their sister and their loved one. Oh God, we pray for the Salem family. I pray for those that are sick and send to the church and say, pray for me. I pray for those that have any kind of illness, those that are facing cancer and arthritis and coronary disease and high blood pressure and sugar diabetes and kidney failure. Oh God, we know that you are able. And we ask right now, oh God, you will touch, heal, and deliver in the name of Jesus. Then, oh God, help us to live in such a way that we will let our light so shine that people might see our good works and you alone might get the glory. We come to tell you that we love you, that we praise you, that we adore you, and that we magnify your name. Bless all those that are on this call. Bless those that will join us later. Meet each of us at the point of our need. And we promise you that as doors are open, as victories are won, we won't take any credit for it. We'll tell everybody that it is because of Jesus. In the master's and powerful name, Jesus the Christ, we pray. Amen. Well, let me greet others of you who have joined me. Thank you so much. Um, Sister Thelma Phillips, how are you? Marjorie, Sister Ruby Ramsey, how are you? Um, Rona Bonsu, how are you? Thank you so much, Joan. Carmen, that's my running partner. Wanda Roberts, always good to see you. Um, Marva Harding Clark, a wonderful woman of God. Ernie Atwood Harris, thank you. Thank you. Brenda, that's my sister Brenda, how are you? Good to see each and every one of you. Florence Farrell, hi everybody. Again, please pray for the family of Patricia. Um, Peterson, I don't have any details. As soon as I do, I will share them with you. Um, please pray for one another. And every now and then, if someone is in your heart, on your mind, give them a call. Send them a card. Let them know that you love them. Because that's the best gift that we can give people is our love and our attention. All right. Please be reminded now that I will not be back on noonday until next week, Monday. But please join us for worship on Sunday, um, where we will celebrate our official boards. Please um, remember the homegoing services for Sarah Michelle, which will be on this Friday, viewing from 5 to 7, and the service will be at 7 o'clock. All right, let's receive the benediction. Have a wonderful day. Go out and enjoy the sunshine. Now unto him who is able, somebody says able, to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before his presence with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, to him be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forever. Amen. God bless you.